This is the first race in the uh, Trail Gear Western Regional Championships. King of the Hammer Southwest Qualifier was looking for some property, uh, some land that you know they can throw at the best racers in the world. And we said, man, let's have a race down here. And I was like, well, we got the Cinco de Baja 150. We'll bump it up 50 miles. You know, we'll do the Cinco de Baja 200, and here we are. And uh, we got a great turnout today. It looks like. So far, I'm really impressed. We got a really big turnout. We got uh, around 50 Ultra Four entries right now. It's kind of cool stepping into other associations and playing with different people and uh, it's, you know, it's like a venture, you know, so I think everything's going to be really fun and, you know, we're going to find, find the people that we want to play with. basically like three parts to the track. You had the first part, which was, you know, kind of the big whooped out section, which was the first maybe eight, 10, 10 miles. And then after that, it kind of flattened out. Then you hit the rocks and you went to the sand wash section. It was just a blast. It was uh, one thing went to the next and it was, you know, you get a nice break from this and go into something else. And uh, yeah, it was great. It was a lot of fun. Love the course. Open it up quite a bit on some of those back sections and uh, kind of see what my car is made of and uh, that's always fun when you can do that. Uh, love the rock sections. I rolled on the third lap and that kind of cost me some time, but uh, for the most part, we were, we were getting it today. We thought that the uh Trophy trucks and the class ones were going to run away. By mile seven, we were right up behind them and, uh, you know, kind of gave them a few little bumps and we were out front by mile marker nine and uh, fresh air. So, yeah, I mean, once you got the fresh air, it's just hammer down, just, you know, have a good time and you know, let the car eat. Um, race course was awesome, really, uh, kind of designed for an Ultra 4 car. Everything was real fast and technical. It was really a lot of fun today. No complaints out of me. Good day. Hard to keep up with those IFS cars in the desert, but we're trying. Jason Shear was fast, fast, fast. And, uh, you know, but it's like, you try to you try to be smart about your racing. You don't want to, you don't want to overdo, uh, overdrive the car. Uh, that's kind of what happened to Jason, I, I, I guess. I haven't talked to him yet, but that's the word is he was driving like a bat out of hell, but you know, that's Jason Shear. Everything was going really, really well. We had a vibration start right about the third lap. I was actually right behind Messer, who was uh, leading the race at the time, and uh, pulled back into the pits, and sure, sure enough, the drive shaft just come loose. We tightened it up, and I was catching back up, so I felt like, okay, this thing's going good. And then I hit the brakes coming into a corner, and all of a sudden, uh, the upper A-arm broke, and the tire kind of flopped over. Everybody said they had a lot of fun today, so I, I hope that's the general consensus, you know, kind of this being our home turf, and us being from New Mexico, it's a lot of fun for everybody to come race where we're from. I'm glad for the Ultra 4, you know, people that it's going to be a series that goes, you know, all over the country, different types of races. It's not just King of the Hammers anymore. You know, people are showing up, 50 cars are showing up to go race a, a race last year, I think had, you know, 10 or 15 cars in it. So, I mean, it's pretty amazing to see how fast this sport's grown and, and to see how many people are involved in it. This is a great place. They, they had a great crowd here, and uh, a lot of a lot of uh, racers loved it. It was a really competitive course, and uh, Ultra 4 cars did well. We took overall overall win. Uh, beat trophy trucks and class one cars. So, yeah, we'll be back.